Hello sparkly people, welcome back to my channel. I'm Vera Valentina, your favorite burlesque YouTuber, and on today's episode we are getting into exactly what I promise, burlesque Amazon must-haves. I am back home after that crazy double header weekend of shows in two different states. I promised you guys Amazon favorites video, so that's what I'm going to give you today. I have a few things here that I've purchased over the past probably year and a half that I feel are burlesque dancer must-haves. I've divided my purchases into three different categories, hair and makeup, costuming, and technology. So if you're interested to see what I bought, grab a drink, grab a glass, see what I bought over the course of the past year shaking my ass. All right, so let's get started with the first piece. And this actually showed up in my last video. Go back and watch my last video. Anyway, in that Traveling Showgirl vlog, I talked to you guys about my new and improved burlesque action pack set because it in fact has turned from a small little poofy bag into a set. It's a three piece there, a huge one, a medium sized one, and a small one and you guys can see it's got the faux burberry print on it which i absolutely love bb bardot was performing at duane park the other day and she had like this stacked set of leopard print makeup bags and it had all her stuff in it and everybody took pictures of it and was like oh my gosh bb is so put together it looks so good such a burlesque aesthetic and i was like well i want to look good i want to have a burlesque aesthetic so i bought these I got really durable zippers and then the inside is like this plat like this shiny plastic which I love because you can wipe out the inside. So if there's makeup in here, pasty tape, glue, whatever it is inside your burlesque action pack, I don't know, maybe Gorilla Snot because that's what I have in here right now. If this explodes, you can wipe it out to our medium sized boy. And I forgot what I put in this one to be honest with you, but once again, it's clear on the inside and you can just wipe it out. Oh, I put my hose spray in here. And the third one, the smallest one is what would be the equivalent of the old burlesque action pack. So in here, I've got my jewelry, I've got pasties, um, a little sewing kit, some extra safety pins, and of course, my glam jam. I feel like this set of bags is so perfect. It keeps everything compact. It keeps everything away from your costumes. And then it fits nicely into a carry-on suitcase, which is what most burlesque dancers are carrying backstage to shows anyway. So go ahead and put this on your list. Next thing that I want to show you guys is something that I have just basically become known for and it's how I wear my hair. Everybody always asks me, Vera, how do you get that perfect pin up updo that you do every single time you go to a show? And I'll tell you how I do it. I don't do it. I put it on. Here it is right here. It's this cute little bun piece. Now this bun piece comes in a million different colors, but this is probably one of the best purchases that I've made on Amazon ever. This thing is so great specifically because it's got combs on the inside that you can just wrap around a bun and just stick on the top of your head. Look your hair back into a ponytail, a low bun, you can do a middle part, you can do a side part, you can give yourself a swoop bang. Just throw this right on top of it and you are set to go. Um, I like to style these pieces now specifically because if you don't style them, this is what happens to it. It becomes a, a ratty mess. You can throw it on in the front for a nice uh, curly Dita bun, throw it right on top for a 1960s look. If you push it back a little bit further, you've got a 90s prom style. You wear it at the bottom, base of your neck. You've got a chignon. And it keeps your hair out of your face while you're dancing on stage. It's perfect. So go ahead and get you one of these. The next thing that I bought in the hair and makeup category is this right here. It is a 20 pack of hair nets. Now, you guys are probably like, hair nets. Why do you need a hair net? Because of what I just showed you, those last two hair pieces, one of them was fried, dyed, and laid to the side. The other one was perfectly styled and kept nice and neat inside. What a hair net. And these hair nets work great, not only for updos, buns, those types of things, but if you're doing like nice, cute, shorter pinup styles and you wanna keep your curls intact, these bad boys, these right here, and they come in all different colors. And like I said, this is a 20 piece because for me, hair nets are just like bobby pins, they disappear. You wear it one time and then it disappears. And a 20 pack is perfect. It'll take me a few months to lose all of these, if you know what I mean. Speaking of big packs, I bought a big pack of lashes. Of course, it's not a big pack of lashes anymore because I, I use them and I'm wearing them right now. But this is how many, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sets 
of thick ass lashes but who likes a specific look to my lash i like them to be really long i like them to be really thick but i like them to have a taper i don't know if you guys can see the taper gives you that really pretty pinup look Stop buying your lashes at CVS right before the show. Stop buying your lashes at Rite Aid or Dwayne Reed or wherever it is that you go and you're part of the country. Buy in bulk, buy these lashes, they're fantastic. All right, Sparklies, let's move on to our second category. Let's talk costuming. Something that I wear every single show, no matter what, I will not perform unless I am wearing these things is my Capizio Professional Fishnet Tights. Whether I wear them in suntan or black, I will always have on a pair of Capizio professional fishnet tights. Why? They tighten you up. They make your legs look nice and active and fresh. At the same time, it keeps me from having to wear a safety thong because everything is already inside the tights. I don't have to worry about things shifting around because the tights are taking care of everything. Like I said, I do not go on stage without these. They make me feel comfortable they make my legs look great they make my butt look fantastic and especially when i wear the nude ones it almost looks like i'm not wearing stockings on stage when i wear the black ones you can definitely tell one because they're black two because the specific type that i buy has a seam down the back i love the seams because it looks real pin up to me i think it's you know it takes it to the next level so those are the ones that i buy it's ribbon okay so this is the reason why i have ribbon here this is humphrey's craft half inch double faced satin ribbon. Now this ribbon is specifically for those of us who like to wear corsets on stage. Now, when you wear a corset, usually the corset comes with that weird like thick parachute cording in the back. And that parachute cording, while it keeps you cinched in really, really tight, it's really hard to undo in the back on stage because the friction, everything, it doesn't glide off because it's made to keep you in. Now what I like to do that was recommended to me by the great and fabulous Media Noche out of New York City, she said to take out that parachute cording and replace it with half inch double faced satin ribbon. And I, since she said that to me, I have, you should see the stack of ribbon that I have now because of that. This, this ribbon will change your life. It makes it so much easier to glide out of those corsets, even if it's not a zip up corset, which I know are all the rage right now. Um, if you still got a regular steel busk uh, with the fasteners on the front, this will make it so much easier for you to get out of your corset. So replace those parachute cording strings with half inch double faced, double faced satin ribbon so that it glides out really, really nicely. Mm, you need this. Now, I also get a lot of questions about the shoes that I wear to dance. Now, you guys know that I have a whole video of dancing in heels. What kind of shoes should I wear as a burlesque dancer? What kind of shoes should I wear as somebody who's just starting out doing burlesque? What do I wear on stage? What do I wear in class? What do I wear in rehearsal? Right? Go watch that video. Then after you watch that video, come back here and let's talk about what I'm about to show you. Because if you're not a dancer dancer, like you're not doing high kicks, you're not doing splits, you're not doing jumps, you're not doing crazy acrobatic in your face, crazy stuff, and you're doing a nice classic strut routine where you don't necessarily need the flexibility of the foot and all that, I suggest that you get into some elegant park heels. Everybody asks me about these shoes because when I first put them on my story and I showed them to everybody, people thought that they were lubes. They thought they were red bottoms. They really thought that they were red bottoms because, I mean, if you just look at them from the side, from here, you see the red bottom, you see the tan inside, you see the satin outside, they look like lubes. When you first buy these shoes and these come in all different colors, a few different styles, um, different heel heights, all of that. When you first get them, of course, the bottoms aren't red. I painted these. And of course, you don't get them fully rhinestoned. I rhinestoned them. But they're like a blank wedding shoe. You can find a, pretty much any color shoe that you want to match your costume with Elegant Park, along with any style that you're looking for, any heel height, whatever. And then all you have to do is buy some stones to match your costume and to match the shoes and then paint the bottoms red and you've got a makeshift pair of lubes. If you were sitting in a theater and you saw these bad boys come across the stage, you would think that the person on stage was wearing lubes, wearing red bottoms. They're perfect. Elegant Park Heels, available on Amazon. The last thing in the costuming department that I wanna to talk to you guys about is underwear basics. Now this set, well, it didn't come as a set, but I made it a set. This set is, I think, the perfect basic set. This is a 
bikini bottom and a U-cut bra with push-up support. Both this bra and the bottoms come in a million different colors so you can customize them to the costume that you're building. This set, you guys probably already know, came from my Cruella DeVille costume. The only thing that I did to alter this set was I cut the back out of the bra. Looking for the perfect set to buy and embellish however you want for whatever costume you're building, this is it. Get this bra, get this little bikini bottom in your color, put on your Capizio fishnet tights underneath it, and make it happen. The next thing I wanna talk about is burlesque accessories within costuming. Um, boas, furs, coats, all those like, you know, those little accessory things that all of us burlesque dancers like to work with. Um, I bought myself a little fur from Amazon. It's a fur stole. Look at that. Look at that. It's big, it's thick. It's rich. This is one of those throw it on the arm and dance around with it, give them give them fox for realness. What a lot of burlesque babies fail to realize is that when you buy regular sized items like hats, um, dresses and things that you would wear every day out and about, they don't really translate on stage. So if you're gonna buy an accessory, you need to buy something that's oversized, big and thick so that even from the mezzanine at the very, very top, people who are watching you will be able to tell that you are carrying a fur or you're holding a boa or you've got a fan. Everything has to be bigger and exaggerated. So think about that when you're making your purchases of your burlesque accessories. All right, so we've gone through hair and makeup and we've gone through costuming. Now we have to go through technology. I know, I know you're all asking, what do burlesque dancers need? with technology. We are modern day visual artists and because we are modern day visual artists, we have to take part in modern day visual artist things, which include things like social media, being on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, Pinterest. In order to get those things going, you need technological accessories to make your product or whatever content you're building look as professional as possible because when you look professional in your content, you look professional online, and when people see your professionalism online, they assume that you're professional in real life, so they book you. Keyword is assume. <laughs> Let's talk about this technology and how we're using it. The first thing that I wanna show you guys is the tripod. It was over there. So this is my tripod. I take this tripod pretty much everywhere. Every single show, when I go out to shoot content, it goes around the house, it's everywhere with me. This is the, probably one of the most important and best purchases that I've made because it helps so much when shooting solo content, when I'm trying to shoot videos for Instagram, when I'm trying to make reels, when we're out and about at shows, when I'm just trying to take cast photos because somehow, don't know how, every single time I go to a show, everybody commissions me to take the cast photo. This tripod will help you so much. You won't have to prop your phone up on something. You can just pull out your tripod, set it up where you need to, get your good lighting source and get it popping. Speaking of making solo content, how do you make solo content when you need somebody to press play? I'll tell you how, with a remote. Remotes, remotes, remotes. So everybody always asks, how do you take those great pictures, Vera? Well, I set up my camera on my tripod. I hook it up to a remote like this. And I hide the remote in my hand and just go to town. This thing will turn you into a professional photographer and it works both for iOS and Android, boom, boom, boom. Can you guys see that? Ugh. Come on, focus. This thing just takes remote photos for you. It's hooked up to your phone through Bluetooth and you just click and it shoots. Click and it shoots. You wouldn't even know it. It's in my hand. Click, click. Also works for video from far away. So camera set up right here. You set up over here, click, camera started, you dance. and then you click and it's over. What I also love about this set is that it comes in a set of three. So I have three remotes here. One to leave at the house, one to put in my everyday purse, and one that goes in my burlesque action pack so that I have it every single time I go to a show. 
then you don't have any excuse for, oh, I couldn't find anybody to take my picture after the show. Take your own picture, make your own content. I couldn't find anybody to film my act. Take your tripod, set up your tripod right before you go on. Put your camera right up in there. Click that, click that remote right before you start dancing. Throw that remote on the ground, come back, and you're good, baby. You're good. You have documentation that you actually dance. Because I know that's something that I struggle with on a regular basis. You guys have seen the vlogs where I got a video of everybody else dancing but myself. If I had only found these, this three set of remotes earlier than I did, I would have so much more footage. So run, don't walk to Amazon and get you a three pack of these phone remotes. Thank me later. All right, sparkly people. So those are all of the things that I that I have that I wanna show you here today. Of course, if you like this Amazon favorites, Amazon must have this video, let me know in the comment box down below. And I'll be sure to do this more often because I shop on Amazon on a monthly basis. So I could probably do an Amazon favorites video monthly and let you guys know exactly what the latest buys are for the burlesque dancer who shops on Amazon. Comment down below, let me know what you think. Go ahead and hit that like button if you haven't already done so. Hit subscribe, subscribe to my channel. We're giving you the best in burlesque, beauty, and booty every single time we get on here. Do we have a regular schedule? Not so much yet, but we are definitely working on it. So because we don't have a regular schedule, my suggestion for you would be to hit that notification bell because if you hit that thing, you will get notified every single time I upload a new video. And you'll be brought right here back to my living room or my bedroom or the office <laughs> to Burley Q Central where we talk about what it takes to get you to go further, faster in burlesque with me, your favorite burlesque YouTuber. Again, guys, I'm Vera Valentina. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, let me know in the comment box and I'll be sure to get back to you. Again, all of the things that I listed today will be in the description box down below with links to my Amazon storefront. So go crazy for less Amazon favorites. Shop, shop, shop.